so cold, but the air burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. Sense. I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer, I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes, I saw you with Sarah before, but what would she want with a vampire, unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A damn peer. Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. I do, and I must admit I'm curious. Tell me, Daywalker, how did you come to be? Long story, and it's still not over. We managed not to kill each other for a while, and maybe I'll tell you one day. I accept your challenge. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. I definitely helped, but no, that's the one thing I can't do. Hunter, not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm- The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but neither works. And this is- Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us. Stories. That's Ileana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know. The Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay. Spend ten minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. 
Caretaker's home for wayward sorcerers, scientists, and slayers. Meh, sounds like something Doctor Strange would come up with. You should probably go talk to Caretaker. I think she's already got plans for your first mission. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt this time. Uh, did someone give you a cup of coffee at least? I know I'm useless in the morning without a little boost. We could probably have one of these witches or warlocks magic you over a barista. I give it about five minutes before Tony starts in with his ye old joke material. Sorry, Hunter. Never should have taken him to medieval times. Unfortunately, time is of the essence. Otherwise, I'd gladly offer to walk you through some of the more pivotal events that have changed the world since you last saw it. Taking a big risk with your chosen one. You act as if I'm thrilled with the situation. With all these big names in here, maybe we should sell tickets. Ooh, could finally upgrade the TV to 4K. I too was recruited as a child into a calling of power and violence. So far, it has worked out well for me. Easy for you to say. Nothing about any of this is easy, Blade. Yeah? Tell that to Wanda. Your old room should be just as comfortable as it used to be. But if not, let me know, and I'll see what I can do for you. If I were you, I'd probably be looking for a hot shower after spending 300 years in a tomb. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony. That's, uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the Dragon Mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. Must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. Alato. Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force is pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. Six hours, 43 minutes, eight seconds. 
and counting. Wow. And you're already bouncing off each other like an old married couple. With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. Careful now. This reality really isn't the place for clumsiness. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. I understand the urgency. Your apprentice is in grave danger, yes? Wanda is no mere apprentice. She is the Scarlet Witch, one of the strongest magical practitioners I have encountered. But she hasn't channeled such power on her own since... Never mind. One crisis at a time. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. We should hurry. About time? Not just about time. Mr. Brooks, time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. Truly. 
truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. For someone so young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. <laughs> Couldn't be worse than the last time. It was just a simple miscommunication. Ocean Avenue. I said Ocean Avenue, Magic. At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. Good news, but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the Wards of Protection.
I am impressed. We will not fail. Lucky shot. Engaging targets. That would stop me. Regroup and await reinforcements. You know what to do. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. out to me. I feel her struggle to concentrate and... Ah! And I won't... Lilith herself could not pass me. What makes you think you will fare any better? Behold the light gift! How oh, invigorating! The light will carry you on. Greatly appreciate.
You're mine. That's not supposed to hurt. All right, that hurt a bit. Nothing to worry about. Have your magic on our side, Doctor. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter. Not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. One of bed. <laughs> Wanda, 